So James, what was the most difficult part in your acting? Um, oof, uh, I, honestly, I, it, it, this was probably the easiest role I've ever played. Yeah, because, because it, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, well, look, everything's hard. Every every role's hard, especially when you're playing a complex role like this. But it's the easiest for me because I wanted to do it and I wanted to be on set. I wanted to do those five months of preparation. I wanted to work with Sally. Um, I just, you know, it, it was kind of a dream project, you know, at that time. It's by far my favorite role and by far my best role. It may be the best thing I ever do, you know what I mean? I think the movie's that good and I'm that proud of the performance that Sally and the editor Ian um, kind of created with me. So actually it was easy in that sense because you want to be there. One of the things about being an actor, and I've been doing it for a little while now, you know, six, seven years, is that you have to do a lot of roles that you don't want to do because you have to pay the bills and you have to work and you have to keep a certain level of profile up in order to keep working. Um, you know, I would love to do uh, wonderful, small, you know, independent films all the time, but there are very few of these types of movies like this one that get the same kind of attention that we've had and that we continue to have. It's very unusual to win awards at Sundance in Berlin and have the kind of hype and get a release in America like this film has when it's an independent film made for a million pounds in the UK. That's unusual, you know. So, yeah, to answer your question, I actually, it was quite easy because I enjoyed it. I mean, it wasn't easy in the sense that it was long hours and, you know, there was a lot of work required, a lot of research. Um, but that's what I want as an actor. The toughest roles are the ones where you don't want to be there and you don't get on with the director or you don't like the script. And any actor who hasn't had that experience is lying because every actor will have it. And he's going to have plenty of them in the future and he'll see and he'll probably get paid a whole load of money for them or whatever, But like, like all of us. But yeah, when you want to be there, when you believe in the project, it's the easiest for an actor. So you already spoke a little bit about you know, the work with the, the director, Sally Hello, Saini. And how did, did, did she work with you? Did, did you have some freedom about the interpretation? Or was she always looking at the, the, the details? Um, it, it was a bit of both. I, th I think a lot of great directors, especially great actor directors, will do both. They'll give you enough freedom to say, look, yeah, to kind of say look if this line doesn't work or if it change it exactly feel it you know so she'll do that um but then again all great directors and i think sally is a great director in the making they have a vision and a very strong vision of what they want so they have they put their stamp on the film so there's a voice in the movie so she knows when to rein us in she knows when to go look fatty james i love what you did but let's just try this because this might work also i think the key is experimentation And she's a talented enough director to allow her actors and have the confidence to allow her actors to really breathe and to make a mistake. I think that, you know, just in my opinion, I think the best performances come out of experimentation. And, and, and you know, you can do five terrible takes, but there might be one moment in one of those takes that's just dynamite and perfect. And it's all in the editing, really. You know, Sally gave us that freedom. She ran us in also, but I think the key is the edit, you know, her and her editor Ian Kitching I, I think it's one of the best edited films I've seen in the UK for a long time I think it's remarkable editing especially from an actor's point of view like you know when, I, when we first saw it we were like wow they've picked every single perfect take there isn't one moment of non-truth and that's what you know as an actor that's a dream you know because you're so scared they're going to pick the, the bad takes you know so it, it, it is a combination of of those things because it's a really manly story uh, there's a few women in the story and, uh, and the vision is is from a woman so uh, how, how could she uh, describe that so well uh, what, what's your opinion on the on, the, on that fact? she's gangster <laughs> she's gangster there you go he just summed it up that's that's the best answer um yeah she's i mean i, I think that we, we kind of put we put too much stock on whether a director is what gender they are or what race they are or what age they are. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, I think Andrew Arnold made one of the best, I guess you could call it urban dramas I've ever seen, Fish Tank. You know, she's a lady and I know it's got a female character in it or whatever, but, you know, I think that, I, I think it's irrelevant really. In a way, you could say it was an advantage to Sally because she was 
infiltrating and understanding a world that is very macho and is very alpha male and all these things. And she's this kind of lovely, tiny, sweet, half Egyptian, half Welsh lady. But in a way that was probably an advantage because the boys wouldn't have seen her as a, a threat, you know? Whereas if some big alpha male guy walked in and goes, yeah, I'm going to make a movie about you guys, like, it's going to be a little bit more intimidating, I think, perhaps. But, um, but I do think we put way too much stock on, on gender. You know, Catherine Bigelow made The Hurt Locker. I mean, that's a better movie than pretty much every other equivalent of it that's been made by a man. So there's a sensitivity that, that she has? No, that's true. You, sensitivity, vulnerability, these things perhaps come into it, maybe, with, with women. But I actually think that, that the great male directors bring that as well you know I think I think it's kind of irrelevant I think she's just a really talented director and happens to be a woman really <laughs>